Hi, everyone, and welcome to Total Celebrity Show. You can check me out on Twitter, at Total Tutor and NeilHaley.com. And I tell you, I have really enjoyed working with INSP. Uh, their their original movies, uh, interviewing their original programming. So I thought it's a perfect time to talk about the success of what they have done by bringing on to the program the COO, Dale Artizon. Dale, thanks for calling. How are you? They're doing great, Neil. How are you? Absolutely, Dale. Let's kind of go into how you became involved with INSP. Tell us how that worked, how that happened. <clears throat> sure. Well, actually, it started about 16 years ago. Uh, I had relocated to the Charlotte, North Carolina area and, and had an opportunity to meet uh, our, our uh, chairman and CEO, David Cirillo. At the time, I was doing some independent practice of law and consulting, and he asked me if I would consider joining the company as its first general counsel, uh, which I did. And uh, at the time, we weren't sure if there'd even be a, a full 40 hours worth of work, but uh, there certainly was. And just over the course of that time, I uh, was able to uh, grow in the company, had additional responsibilities placed on me. I took over the insurance department, took over human resources. And then just as we had different individuals leave, I uh, was promoted chief operating officer uh, and originally had sales and research and distribution placed under me. And then back in 2014, I uh, was fortunate enough to have uh, marketing and um, uh, programming uh, placed under me. Wow. Okay. All right. So then is that when the, the changes started to develop with INSP once you got into, involved in that area? You know, really the changes began in, in 2010. Uh, we took a look at the landscape and, and really felt like, uh, took a, did a lot of study of viewing habits and, and a lot of research in terms of what viewers wanted and, and really felt like there was an underserved market uh, for, for folks who were looking for, you know, what we would call, you know, quality programming, quality dramas, uh, programming that was really family friendly. In fact, we call, call it lunch free programming that you don't have to lunge for that remote, that you can put it on leave it on and enjoy it. And, and, but at the same time, you know, it, the, the demand was for good content. It wasn't um, something that, you know, simply sat as background noise. It, it, you know, we found that, that folks were looking for really good, compelling content that, that could be trusted. And that's when we made the change. And that, very interesting. And, again, we all know before even that programming started, this is such family programming. You have uh, certain shows that you are airing all the time on INSP, uh, which is also Inspiration TV. Am I correct? And uh, then that's and then the, came the moniker, I guess, INSP. But the programs that you had on before the original programming are just so well lo loved, aren't they? They are. And I, just to, to clarify one point, we actually years ago were called the Inspiration Network. Uh, and then in, in 2010, when we made the programming shift, we really moved to, to the moniker INSP, which um, uh, is not really – we don't go by the Inspiration name or Inspiration TV. It's really just INSP. Uh, uh, at the time or shortly after that, the network was actually broken out into its own separate entity called INSP LLC. And so um, from, from a naming standpoint, we've, we've been really stuck with INSP, and I think – uh, our, our, our cable and, and satellite and, and telecommunications partners know us as INSP. And in terms of the program, you're 100% correct. Our strategy initially was to help build the brand by starting with the kind of programming that people already knew represented the, you know, the, the, the quality dramas and the, and the trusted programming that, that we felt would be appropriate. So, you know, we initially started with things like the Waltons and Little House on the Prairie, and things that kind of reinforce, you know, uh, celebrating the American spirit and the values uh, in, in, in terms of, of plots and, and what was happening that we knew we knew our viewing audience uh, w would migrate to, and they did. I mean, the, the, the ratings growth was was terrific. And you know, again, it, it's 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 helpful when you're when you're going through the kind of rebrand that we did, uh, when you have shows that people already identify with the same qualities that you're putting forth because. You don't have to re-educate everybody. Everybody knows that you know what the Walton stand for, what Little House stands for, and then 
as we as we grew from there and we went into things like uh um, you know, uh, some of the Westerns that have been very popular, the Virginian, Bonanza. Uh, we, we did uh, Matlock. We, 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 we still air Walker, Texas Ranger. Again, all of those same values come through, uh, but it really helps. You know, people have, in some cases, when you look at the Waltons or you look at Bonanza, you know, you're talking 10, 20, 30, 40 years worth of a branding that um, – it makes it very easy to associate with our network, and that's really that that's helped shape how we market our network. All right, your programming slate for 2017. You started launching it in 2016 with a a great Friday night lineup, if I'm correct. Uh, tell us specifically what's on tap for 2017. Absolutely. So as you noted, and and thank you, we we launched Destination Fridays in 2016, and that really was, uh, uh, you know, a way to kind of identify the programming is destination-based programming. And so, number one, we want it to be a destination for our viewers, that they can come Friday nights, park with us, and, and really enjoy it. But, you know, uh, the programming also features a number of different destinations. So we have uh, State Plate, uh, which is a show that we just launched this past fall uh, with, with uh, Taylor Hicks, and he goes state to state. Uh, meets with a number of different folks in each state and really explores kind of the, the you know, uh, the, the foods that are iconic for that state and the background behind them. So he's not just going to restaurants, but he's he's right. getting into, you know, where where is where is popcorn grown or, or where is, um, you know, what, what does the Chicago dog really come from? And, and so that, that's been a great show for us. Uh, and, and really the first show in that genre for us was Handcrafted America, uh, with Jill Wagner, who is just a terrific host. Uh, Jill just has a great ability to go to various artisans, um, you know, that still do things the old-fashioned way. They do it by hand. Uh, she visits with at least three a show, and she has just really found a way to bring out what they do uh, in, in, in a way that makes it fun and interesting. So that's part of what we our strategy for Friday night was, and, and, and we've been really pleased with the growth of those the, the ratings in those shows. So uh, we have uh, uh, greenlit uh, uh, a second season of Handcrafted, and, and, and certainly as we wind up our first season of State Plate and, and, and working through our second season of Handcrafted, uh, you know, eager to to, to uh, finalize some decisions, and, and we'll have some announcements forthcoming about uh, where we're going with those shows, uh, I would just say, again, we're, we've been very pleased with the ratings and, and the response and, and excited about those. Uh, and in addition, uh, as, as you noted, we've also released several different films. So uh, we had yeah. um, uh, Christmas in the Smokies, which actually came out at the end of 15, but uh, we, we saw a lot of good response to that in 2016. In addition to airing it on our network, we, we took it out to retail and to Netflix and had a great response. Um, but we also released um, Savannah Sunrise, a great film about a daughter and her mother-in-law who make a trek from Kentucky to Savannah, Georgia, and some of their experiences. And I, we really had a good response to that. I think anyone with a, a mother-in-law or a daughter-in-law or uh, you know a wife who has a mother-in-law uh, really saw uh, made a connection with with some of the the fun things, but also the challenges of those kinds of relationships. Uh, it also was able to take that to retail. Uh, and then uh, one of the other things that we had come out last summer was um, Heritage Falls, which uh, tells the story of three generations of men uh, as they struggle. It's a family. It's a father, a son, and a grandfather, and how they, you know, how those relationships. Uh, can can be a challenge, and I think part of what we wanted to do as a network was, you know, these are real life dramas and real life situations exactly. that we can all deal with, but but make it in a way that makes it fun. So you know, there's there's things to laugh at. There are things that you know hopefully will invoke some emotion, uh, and and I think what we found at the end is everybody kind of nods their head and says, "Yep, I know exactly what that drama is about. I've, I've got it myself." And that, you know that for us was I think very rewarding, and so that's that was our slate for um, 16, and, and we've really been at it hard in terms of preparing for 2017. Um, so we've got uh, several more movies in production. Uh, we'll have a Christmas movie out. We have uh, another movie called County Line, uh, which for us will actually be a, um, 
a, a little closer to some of the modern day westerns. You know, it's a little more of a um, maybe a cross between a Bonanza and a Walker Texas Ranger. And so there's a little bit of action, a little bit of drama, but that same, you know, themes of of of, of trust, of uh, values, of uh, you know, uh, hope endings with with uh, you know the the just and, and truth coming out, and I think that's always been uh, central to what we want to do. Um, and then we've got a couple of series we're really excited about: uh, uh, Alabama, The Cowboy Way is a series that we will, we will have debuting this summer. Um, and that just kind of follows the lives and challenges of three modern-day individuals who live, uh, you know, more of a rustic cowboy lifestyle. Um, but they are, are – it's a fun group, and we're excited about that. Uh, we have another show that we're getting ready to test, uh, which will be called Turquoise Fever. And it follows the, the story of a, a, a family that mines um, turquoise. And um, – Excited about that. So we're really, really pleased with um, uh, what we've got on tap for 17. And, and you know, obviously at this point we're, we're looking out even further. Well, that's great. And, uh, and Dale, we're hoping to have many of the stars of the different shows and the movies on the on the program. And we're going to continue to highlight what, how great INSP is with their family programming for sure. Uh, the relationship between INSP Films and INSP is the fact that INSP Films goes out not just to the network. They go out to Netflix. They go to all these different platforms plus different places, right? Is that kind of give us that quick relationship between the two? Sure thing, Neil. Thanks for asking. Uh, so INSP Films is a, is a separate but wholly owned um, uh, film production company that we use to go out, uh, goes into different states, um, you know, uh, often uh, utilizing some of the talent and certainly the production uh, opportunities in those states, um, and the crews, and, and, and we we'll film on location. We develop these motion pictures, um, and then, you know, normally we, we start with a theatrical release, and so we will release them in, in select theaters, sometimes in different markets depending on where we are, almost always in the market where the film was, was produced, and we've, we've had great response there. But we'll do select releases, and then, as you noted, uh, you know, generally a few months later uh, we will do um, – we'll take it out to retail, we'll take it out to some of the OTT places, uh, Netflix and some of those as, as well as – you know, in most instances, it will also uh, air on the network. Um, but, you know, part of the, the, the initial thoughts when we created INSP Films is that it doesn't have to. It, it, INSP Films um, will do a wide variety of films, uh, similar in theme in terms of quality dramas that celebrate values and morals and, and have, you know, is trusted content. But, you know, it may not always be something we put on, on the INSP network. Interesting. Okay. Well, Dale, best place we can find information on you is go to the website, right? INSP, correct? Uh, for more Absolutely. information. INSP.com. All right. And follow all social media. You guys are on Facebook, Twitter, Inst you're all over the place. So uh, really excited to be uh, getting to talk to so many of the, the talented people that are part of INSP. And it's great to kick it off the new year by having you on the program. So I appreciate you calling Dale and best of luck. Listen, Neil, thank you, and, and we're, we're really pleased to have, have our folks have an opportunity to come and speak with you, and, and as long as you will keep that door open, we will, we will make them available, and uh, any time that you want to speak with them, we will have them ready. All right. Well, thanks, Dale. Take care, man. All right. Thank you. Same to you.